some leaders of the medical community have expressed support for the ongoing investigation of the Senate Duribon Committee. Philippine College of Physicians President Dr. Maricar Limpin said reports of corruption are disturbing. Limpin added that the alleged deficiencies in spending directly affect the welfare of healthcare workers. Public health advocate Dr. Anthony Liachon meanwhile told senators that the PCP initiated an open indignation letter. It's been signed by 600 medical leaders and six former health secretaries, including Esperanza Cabral, Manuel Dairit, Enrique Ona, and Pauline Obial. Aside from showing support, they are also calling on President Duterte not to block testimonies from potential witnesses in the government. Medical leaders say this could be the worst corruption throughout the country's history since it happened amid a pandemic. During today's hearing, Blue Ribbon Committee Chairman Senator Richard Gordon took a swipe at Duterte. Gordon claimed anew that the president is defending those behind the anomalous deals between the budget department and formally. The senator also revealed their initial findings which recommend criminal charges against several individuals. These include former presidential advisor Michael Young, ex-budget undersecretary Christopher Lau, and formerly executives. Sean, let's listen in to some parts of the hearing. We decry any attempts to withhold testimonies and cover up what really happened. So, uh, Your Honors, we really call ang panawagan po namin ay for transparency, exigency, and accountability. In particular, uh, I hope na dumating po ito sa ating Presidente. It is clear and categorical to us that this grand conspiracy could never have happened without the imprimatur of the executive. Sean, Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drelon also moved to cite and contempt Mohit and Twinkle Dargani for failure to produce documents that have been asked by the Senate few weeks ago.